Welcome to Simple Coding. In this video, let us see Calendar Control in ASP.NET. Calendar Control is used to display calendar in our web page. Calendar Control is used to display selected date or the data which is associated with the date and also we can select any date in calendar. Now to create calendar control, either we can write code or use drag and drop facility of Visual Studio IDE. Calendar control is also a server control that means it has its own tag to create. To create calendar control, we have to write ASP colon calendar and provide important properties like ID and run at and then we have to close our calendar control by writing slash ASP colon calendar. Following are the properties which can be used with calendar control. Let us see example of calendar control. Here I am creating a project with name calendar demo. Now to add web form to our project we have to go to solution explorer and click on project name and then click on add button and here you have to click on new item and in this dialog box we have to select web form and click on add it will add web form to our project in this example i am using drag and drop facility and following is the design for our project so here first of all we have to create calendar control so from toolbox i am dragging calendar control and also taking one button control that will show get data and again I am using one label control to display date and in source code I will update the values as button control I will change the text property as get date and also providing on click property to create function in .cs file and inside on click property i am providing get date that means we have to create get date function and also removing the text property of label control because at runtime i will provide text property to this label control now we have to provide logic for get date function so when I click on get date button, I want to provide today's date inside first label control. So for that we have to write label one dot text equals to today's date is that means this today's date will be printed as it is and plus we have to write ID of calendar that is calendar one dot today's date it will return current date and dot to short date string that means it will provide only date and semicolon now let's run the project to see whether we are getting the date or not you can see that we got the design and when i am clicking on get date button we got the date and also the it is matching with the current date now we have to create one more label control to display selected date so from toolbox i am taking label control and inside get date function we have to write label 2 dot text equals to your selected date is that means your selected date is printed as it is dot id of calendar that is calendar 1 and to display selected date we have to write selected date dot to long date string it will return the complete date along with day now let's run the project now we have to select a date 
and when i am clicking on get date button we are getting the selected date and also we are getting the today's date now i will create one more button control to work with visibility of calendar control so when i click on this show button the calendar will be shown so for that i am going to toolbox and taking one button control and changing the properties of button control at first we have to add visibility properties to calendar control so for that write down visible equals to false that means calendar control won't be shown now in button control i am changing the properties from text here i am giving show calendar and also providing on click property to button control and inside on click property i am giving value as show that means i have to create show function in dot cs file you can see that in dot cs file show function has been created so inside this show function we have to write calendar 1 dot visible equals to true that means whenever we click on show button it will display calendar control now you can see that we got the design as we wanted now we have to run our project so let's run the project and see the output you can see that in output we are getting label statement we don't want to print this label so for that go to our code and inside source file remove the text property of the label control so that this label won't be shown now let's run the project and here you can see that we are getting the output and when i am clicking on show calendar it will displaying a calendar and here i will select one date from calendar control and when i am clicking on get date button i am getting the current date along with the selected date in this way you can work with calendar control in asp.net if you like this video please do like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching